Hello, welcome to the Popish Plot. My name is Nate. I'm Jessica. And I'm Mike. Today is Saintly Sunday, and we decided that because of an event that's that took place yesterday, we would do our episode today around how to be a saint. That's right. Only we're not talking about your average run-of-the-mill saint. I mean, technically everybody who's in heaven right at this moment is a saint. But since we don't get an email confirmation of everybody who arrives there... It would uh, totally flood our inbox. I mean, that it, would be a would, lot of work. it would be a lot of work. And we'd be deleting emails all the time. It's like, ah, why don't they just stop sending me emails? Is there an opt-out in here? <laughs> so, But since we don't, there's actually a process by which we recognize individuals who are, as far as we can tell, definitely inside the gates. So... The day after Solanus Casey, the Franciscan priest, was officially beatified, the Published Plot is proud to present 10 easy steps to become a saint. All right. Ooh. So, so Mike, what is easy step number one? Step one, die. Wait, wait, wait hold on. It's, that is a pretty heavy step. We said this was going to be 10 easy steps. It's the easiest thing in the world. Everybody dies. Even Jesus died. Okay, okay, so, okay, so it is easy to die, but I mean, it's, it's, it's not really something we can do right now. Like, we can't work on being dead. Oh, well, if you would eat a little unhealthier, you could totally work on being dead. He but, is right. I mean, you've, but, you've got, you know. We have a faith that is based upon resurrection, so you can't just die. Like Lazarus, he was dead for four days, didn't take. So wait, so wait you mean I can't, I can't take my own uh, stab at the plot for Flatliners? Nope. You gotta be dead, and I it's gotta... I want to yell clear in you. You can yell clear whenever you want. Just please don't shock him or he really will die. <laughs> no, you've got to be dead, and the rules say you've got to be dead for at least five years. Oh, that's good and dead. To that's prevent people dead, from yeah. getting caught up, swept up in the moment. All right, all right, all right. All right. So, hypothetically so, speaking, I am good and dead. What's next? Well, if you want to be assured of being recognized as a saint, the best thing to do is to be a martyr. All right, so I gotta have somebody kill me for my faith. Mm -hmm. Yes, and it has to be explicitly for your faith. So what you're saying is, is that somebody has to go and kill me, because publicly because I was a Christian, not somebody killed me and I happened to be a Christian. Mm -hmm. Yep, you need to be murdered because you're a Christian, because they hate the church, because they hate Jesus, because they hate God. Quite clear, cut and dry. They're killing you for being a Christian. There are a number of saints who, after having been already declared a saint, they were said, yeah, I think they're also a martyr, largely ones who died during World War II. I know. I'll go become a but, missionary in Iran. Possibly. All right. But I don't want to become a missionary. Let's say you don't get martyred, don't though. Speak. All right. You can just lead a life, just lead a life, lead a life of heroic virtue. So I gotta start lifting some buses. Should I wear a cape? As long as you lift buses for the greater glory of God, yes. And as long as you wear a cape for the greater glory of God, possibly. But we're not talking about doing heroic feats. We're talking about the way of heroic virtue, which okay. can be as simple as leading a good and decent life amidst a world of fallen sinners. Oh, okay. So no cape? You can wear a cape if you want, but some people might kind of, might find it off-putting, so I don't know if it's really the best evangelization tool. It's a little tool. ostentatious, you know, look at me kind of a thing. So, step the third. All right. You gotta have grassroots support. You gotta have a group of people who knew you, who recognized, hey, we think this cat lived a life of heroic virtue. Hey, you guys know me, right? Yeah, but we're all about the same age, so... Hopefully we're all going to die around the same time. I mean, you got to wait five years before things even start fair, rolling. Fair I, mean. I, have, I have full confidence that in the decades to come, you will lead a life of exemplary heroic virtue. Okay. Somehow. I can try. <laughs> so, that takes you to step four. A private devotion. A number of people who knew you have to believe that you should be recognized as a saint, have to pray to that effect, and start to gather the evidence necessary to begin the official canonization process. Right. Cannons! Cannons! No, 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 no. <laughs> I understand, but it's not that kind of canon. Oh. 
it, it's only got, uh, well, it still has two N's, but only two N's, not three. C-A-N-O-N. Okay. Not C-A-N-N-O-N. You'll, you'll, you'll shoot your eye out anyway. Oh, or worse, my eye out. Mm. So, step the fifth. You've got friends. They've got a private devotion. They've gathered evidence. They then submit it to your bishop. Well, I, I know a way we can get that done. We just need to go and be like the widow in that parable from, that Jesus told. Or we got to get somebody who's like that widow and just get them really frustrated about the fact that we're not considered saints. Because they will go and pester the bishop night and day. The bishop will be like, I should just, you know, do what she says just to get her off my back. Annoying persistence is Jesus approved. Yeah. Which takes us to step six. The bishop has finally been worn down by your relentless friends. He then agrees, he takes a look at all the evidence gathered, and he says, okay, and sends it on to Rome. And then you're saint? At this point, you've reached step seven, and you are called a servant of God. Well, that's do, I get a, do I get a fun prefix for servant of God? Well, sometimes they'll call you SOG, but mostly they, write, mostly they write it out to avoid confusion and just call you servant of God. Saintly original gangster. That's, that's not, not it. <laughs> oh. Servant of God, John Paul I, pray for Nate. <laughs> Step eight. Rome now begins the process all over again. And there they, at least historically speaking, they would bring in my favorite job. It's not there anymore. Historically speaking, it was there. <laughs> the devil's advocate. Now, this doesn't mean that somebody who works for the devil, it's just that while everyone else is saying how great you are, the devil's advocate He's going through be everything skeptical. going, no, 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 look at this. He kicked a puppy once. It was a vicious dog. A vicious dog. <laughs> but as long as he was kicking the puppy to, I don't know, expel a demon. Or save some orphans. Or maybe it was a vicious dog and he orphan was kicking it to save me. the orphans. Context is crucial, people. So if, so, if the devil's advocate can't poke sufficient holes and Rome says that it's okay... Saint. Venerable. Well, that, that, one that, definitely has, nice. that one definitely has a, a prefix that goes with it, right? Exactly. Ven. Oh, Ven. You could be a diagram. Well, that has two ends. This only has one, but still. You I like in the prefix. number of ends. <laughs> you got a thing against ends. Man. I appreciate proper spelling. <laughs> it's, it's why we're talking about canonization, not blowing stuff up with cannons. <laughs> spelling matters. All, all, right. Right, all, right, all right, fine. All right. So, so you become venerable... There's got to be something more. We were only on step eight. Step What's nine. What's nine? You have to perform a miracle. All right. What? I'm going to get a ragtag team together, and we are going to beat Russia at the Olympics. First, first you tell me I got to live. I got to live a a, a a virtue, a heroically virtuous life without capes. And then I got to die. And then I got to wait while everybody, while all my friends are trying to convince the bishop, who probably is looking at this going, I don't really want to have to create another saint. It's probably so not a saint. Paperwork. you got to wear There's him so down. Much paperwork. <laughs> and finally I make all this way. I've made it to Rome. And Rome is like, yeah, no, he, he seems pretty good. Now I've got to go work a miracle. A miracle is not so much to ask. Jesus said that people would do great things in his name. Oh, all right. Right. I know. I'll get a large amount of water, and my friends are all hanging out, annoying the bishop to make me a, a saint, and I'll turn it into wine. You know, that'll work pretty well. But it should be noted, the church is up to date. The church is very scientific about this. So you're almost certainly going to need a medical miracle. Mm. Mm. I mean, turning water into wine, fantastic, and we approve. That's a whole other fermentation. But but, but you need but you need but you need to be able to document the fact that this couldn't have happened any other way but the but through the interference of God. Let's say that you have a really mean uncle, okay, and you yeah. pray that he will come to faith, okay, and then he does. Praise God, it's a miracle. But can we prove that it was your prayers and only your prayers? that brought about his conversion, couldn't have been something going on inside of him? You see, there's, there's questions. Whereas, if you've got inch-thick inch binders from multiple doctors, both believers and non-believers, saying, this dude had a disease and was totally going to die, boom, he's cured. Hey, presto, that's science. That's empirical evidence. All right, fine. So I've done my miracle. Now I am a... 
Blessed. <sighs> it's not so bad. All right, it used all right. to be not so long ago that you needed two miracles just to become blessed. Now it's been halved to only one. All right, all right, fine. So I'm blessed, Nate Vanderclock. Hey, blessed Solanus Casey. It's not a bad place to be. So but, what do I? So what next? Step ten: a second verifiable miracle. Seriously? You Don't you do want to do good? <laughs> Don't you want to be helping God's people here on Earth? Yes, but, but they have to be medical miracles. I don't like hospitals. Hospitals are ewy. <laughs> I want to bless. I want to bless the rains down in Africa. All right. Yes. <laughs> you can perform <laughs> medical miracles that take place outside of hospitals. Maybe you could cure somebody who refuses to seek medical treatment. That would seem like a miracle. All they'd have to do is take a few scans to verify. All right, fine. Listen, guys, we're talking about getting the big ST, being recognized as somebody with a halo. You know, performing a couple miracles doesn't seem like an undue burden. You know, in, in all fairness, though, I think I'll go for the, uh, the for the unnamed saint. Hmm. Yeah, you know, there, there's there's millions of soul, presumably untold millions of souls in heaven right mm -hmm. now. Most of whom are completely unknown. I'm going to take a slightly different tack. Because the idea that everybody's watching me, that my example might inspire them to either lead a better or a worse life, well, that, oh, that, not, helps, like, that helps keep me on the straight and narrow. I'm not suggesting uh, you shouldn't go and live a, a, a heroically virtuous life. I'm simply saying, if, I'm pursue, if what I'm pursuing is the ST, haven't I missed the point? Not if you're doing it for the right reasons. Hmm. Like having an elementary school named after you. Wait, no. It'd be hard to spell it out. They're little kids. Mm. No, no. They'd have to constantly worry about the number of N's. My name is very simple. There's not a single N in Mike. Yeah. Oh, you have that. The Saint Mi the, the, the Saint, <laughs> well, but you know, you might get confused. I mean, the Saint Michael Institute of Higher Learning, you know. Which Saint Michael? There were a lot. Well, but we're all named after the Archangel, so it all works out. I bet, we, I bet, we, I bet we'll have a club up in heaven. So, Ooh. Wait so, a minute. There are no St. Jessicas. Not uh, yet. yet. Oh, okay. <laughs> so. Club president! <laughs> <laughs> Dibs! <laughs> so, subscribe to our channel, and you can find more entertaining vid and informative videos just like this one. Or entertaining or informative, I mean. Yeah. Sometimes you get both, sometimes you only get one. Please like the video, unless, of course, you thought we were utter and utter garbage. In which case, please like our video and uh, go down below in the comments and let us know if you were to become a saint, what you'd want to be the patron saint of. Ooh. And until next time, remember: live your faith, love your faith, share, share that, that love. love.